And it is Peace Officers Memorial Day, and each of our law enforcement branches holding special ceremonies to honor their fallen. Happening right now, a ceremony remembering all fallen law enforcement across Kern County. But each department did have their own memorials this morning. We'll begin earlier at the Sheriff's Department headquarters with a very somber and emotional ceremony remembering the 31 fallen of their force. One by one, the 31 names of the officers were read, and a plaque was placed on a memorial wall by KCSO leadership. The last name read was of Deputy Sheriff Philip Jesse Campus, who was killed in the line of duty last July during a standoff at a home in Wasco. Deputy Campus and another deputy were struck by the gunfire. They were both taken to a hospital where Deputy Campus died. And now his family was also in attendance there this morning, accompanied by Sheriff Donnie Youngblood, who placed the last plaque on the memorial wall with them. Deputy Sheriff Campus was a U.S. Marine Corps veteran and had served with the Sheriff's Office for five years. He is survived by his wife and three children. I know when the first one was put up there, who would have thought this number would grow to this number? But it did. And we know that the future ahead of us and the world that we live in, this may reoccur in our organization. We hope to God not. We hope it never happens throughout our country. It takes a special person, and especially in today's world, to put on that badge, wear that hat. So since the genesis of the department in 1866, eight deputies have died in the line of duty due to gunfire. It has been the second highest cause of death for deputies. The first cause of death, automobile crashes. We are live streaming the memorial ceremony on our Facebook pages for KGT.com for that county ceremony happening right now. And today's ceremonies began earliest with the Bakersfield Police Department, their ceremony happening at 7 a.m., honoring the 10 Bakersfield police officers who have lost their lives in the line of duty. The community came together with police and family members of the fallen to remember their lives. These officers lost their lives in the line of duty, doing their job honorably, trying to protect our community. Uh, it's important uh, both for the surviving family members uh, as well as a community in the whole that we honor that honorable sacrifice uh, and honor the notion of selfless service uh, and service with honor that continues. You can see that statue there for uh, Django, the canine loss last year. Now, artwork from local high schoolers was on display honoring those fallen officers, and it was then given to the officers' surviving family members. And finally, the California Highway Patrol honoring their fallen from a Bakersfield area ceremony this morning. The memorial dedicated to CHP officer Scott Merritt, who passed away from complications due to COVID in September. Family and fellow officers remembered Merritt as a good man who served professionally and respectfully. And with that still being fresh in everybody's mind, he was a big part in our department as well as our community. So we did want to pay special tribute to him on that. Now a wreath was laid in Merritt's honor, and his name now adorns the CHP memorial outside of the agency's Bakersfield office. In total, 16 troopers and officers from the Bakersfield area were honored at this ceremony. Across more than a century, all have lost their life in the line of duty.